Good morning, YouTubers. I'm going on a uh, little road trip. <laughs> Do you want to come? We are, of course, taking the Nova to, as the title suggests, Stonehenge. I've never been to Stonehenge. So let's go. A bit of wild camping as well. Illegal, it's not. Shh, don't tell you. Breakfast first. With all this clobber. <clears throat> I've got that rucksack, I'll be back. Should be fun. Weather's boring, just cloudy. Never mind. The current mileage is uh, 51,661 one and a half. Right, let's go. Oh, this is the first uh, town on the route which is born. Oh, very exciting. Why don't I have the full queue? What am I doing? What are you doing, my Tom? GoPros are shit. I was just, uh, I've, I've, I'm having a break right now. And I was going through Stam uh, Stamford, yeah. I thought, oh, I'll record. Dead. Nothing. Nothing. GoPro, sort this junk out. This is a Hero 8. And it's not very old. Come on. Anyway, I am about 50 miles into the journey. I need to really, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I ought to bungee that on there somehow. Because that is a big hefty lump. Anyway, enough of my whinging. I'm going to have a few vapes. Um, I don't know, maybe carry on. <laughs> I'm in Corby! First, uh, first refueling. I'm down at Corby. Three pounds seventy-one. Two point seven liters. That's what I've used. So, doing well. Let's continue. on the outskirts of Buckingham heading for Bista or as it's pronounced Bicester ah, what a name oh, pop it. <clears throat> it is two o'clock in the afternoon I'm in Tesco's at Bista 
thought I need some food, so Scotch egg and some hot and spicy chicken fillets. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I'm gonna refuel here. My bum's gone to sleep. It's dead. <laughs> Well, I'm currently in Newbury, so only about 40 miles away from Stonehenge. And I ain't got a clue where I'm going because I'm not using sat -nav. Just simply falling aside. Okay, okay, I am probably about two or three miles from Stonehenge. Ooh. Thought I'd better get some, uh, some fuel. And uh, the bike won't start. I keep trying to kick it off, won't run. Won't run by. Um... Okay. Oh dear. Might have to just give that uh, 10 minutes to cool down. Don't want to go. You were pleased to know the old gal's running. Sweet as nuts. I, um, I'm a bit mucky. I took the glow plug out because I've got all my spanners up. Give a, um, give the spark plug. Did I say glow plug? I meant spark plug. I'm tired. Uh, yeah, I took the spark plug out. Give it a bit of a clean up. Running like a dream. Awesome. Right. Put it back together and go and finally see the stones. I've just left the camera running. We recorded, ooh, <laughs> recorded 28 minutes of nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna set up my tent just there, I reckon. That looks good. Oh, there's a great big spider that. Don't come in my tent. Yes. So, camping in front of the stones. Another thing is, with the sun setting there, the sun's going to rise somewhere there. That should that should look nice. Anyway, I see there's a load of security over there, so in a bit, when they've gone, I might take a walk over, see how close I can get. Look at that for a sunset. Now, ain't that pretty? Very nice. It's very busy. You'll probably not be able to see, but there's cars all the way down there. Well, vans. And there's vans all up there. Here, here's one for you. You know, I vape. Uh, how do I charge my batteries? Well, crop clips. They are. That's how you charge them. And I've also got another charger for uh, my memory bank. Anyway, this is starting to look like a proper um, campsite now. Crap everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Staring you somewhere over there. <laughs> it is half past seven in the morning. And this is what I'm greeted with. A rather foggy day. Still, nice not to be at work. Good morning everybody. I was gonna I was a cow. I was gonna ride to Cornwall but then I just That's not the best tent or sleeping bag or ground mat. Cows have come to say hello. All right, they're walking by. A tent? You want his tent? Good morning. What's the matter? Awesome. Well, still can't see the stones. Never mind. What I'm going to do now is pack away the tent and uh, hopefully see the stones. Mm. I'm just going for a wander. See if we can get close to the stones. Because I ain't paying. I shouldn't have to pay. Anyway. I don't know how close we'll get. And it's very foggy. There they are. I'll tell you what, they're big. They're really big, these stones are. I can't believe how big they are. It's not even 8 o'clock and there's a guided tour around the place. Amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go for a ride. <laughs> going off, going home, I think. But there's, there's sort of some fun on the way. I decided to give a bum a break because the only downside to these bikes is the seat and your bum goes to sleep but I'm not complaining it's done you know it's done a lot of miles and it's uh, I'm waffling now I'm gonna shut up
Oh, just stop for a break. I've not got a clue where I am. Seriously, I don't know where I am. And this is funny as. There's a little place, just uh, Hampton. I don't know if you can see that. H A M P T O N. So I'm just right near there. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to have a break. Check the oil in the bike. And there's loads of cars come past that. Check the oil, top it up. Uh, oh yeah, have a look on the phone, see where I am, see where I need to be. It's, it's funny actually, you know, because this is actually making it more of a, you know, more of a day of it. Because seriously, I don't know where I am. I sort of like heading towards Oxford and then lost it and went somewhere else. <laughs> I've sorted it. I, if I follow this road, I'll get to a little village or a little town called Farringdon. From there, you should see signs for Oxford. See, so you, you can never be that lost, really. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm now in Oxfordshire. Ooh. We're just outside Oxford, about to join the M40. I thought, you know what, I need 10 minutes to let my bum recover because my bum's gone to sleep again. Reverse that. The helmet's just dropped off the seat. I don't know if this is working or not, we'll soon find out. GoPro looks alright, helmet looks alright. I just stopped. Um, Again for a break, because on this little thing, your bum hurts after about 20 miles. I'm joking, it's probably 30. And uh, it's nice to have a break. So I've just found some little um, side road and it smells here. It smells, it smells of like garbage. So there must be a, a recycling center somewhere around here. But anyway. I don't know if I've shown you my setup. Look, that's on the, the back, my back. That's there. Well, that's about it. And obviously, I've got loads of stuff in here. What a bike. Right, let's continue. Just had to refuel because it was running on vapors, literally. Ah, which way, Stamford?
time for a break. Oh, my poor bum. Oh. Bye all. The village we're in right now is called Collie Weston. Some of these places have the most amazing names, don't they? Suffern Walden. Anyway, uh, I'm about five miles from Stamford. So we're cracking on, we're not far, not far now. Not far to go. And I'm gonna have a nice bath. Look at that old girl. What an amazing bike. Oh. Here's a little tip for you. Right, if you're going on a trip like this on a motorbike, yeah, and you've only got 125 cc's, nine horsepower, the power. The trick to do it, right, or the trick is find a lorry Get in behind him from about 20 foot behind him, yeah? And you'll feel you're just backing off the throttle and backing off and backing off because you've been sucked off. Sorry, you've been. You've been sucked along by the draft of a lorry. And you, uh, your bike is really economical. But also, don't bother with sat nav, just do this lot. This is my sat nav. I might have shown you earlier in the video. Oh, piece of paper. It's easy. You just look on a map and you kind of go, well, I'm going to be there, so I'm going to straight line, so I'm going to pass. What the hell's that? I'm going to pass through that, 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 that. Easy. I don't know what that was. Anyway, let's continue the journey. The downside of Stamford is the signposts for anywhere are rubbish. Uh, I've had to stop again, my bum's dead. It's gone numb. My bum's gone to sleep. It's the only downside to these little bikes. Anyway, I'm in Lincolnshire now, as hopefully you've just seen. And I went, yeah, buddy. So yeah, I'm now in my own county. Um, I'm about two miles outside Bourne, and then it's just a straight run all the way home. So, and the last thing to do is refuel the bike when I get home, because there's a garage near me. Refuel there, and then I'm gonna work out how many miles I've done, because I've photographed all this, and what MPG, what mile per gallon I've done. I'm guessing uh, 100, I've averaged 110 miles per gallon. It might be more or it might be less. Don't know. Anyway, look at this field. For you guys that used to do a lot of melts, or I used to do a lot of melts detecting. Look at this field. That'd be right, wouldn't it? Here, farmer, can I melt detect in your land? Get off my land, he be worrying my sheep. Here I am, back in liquor. Oh yeah. Oh, right, well there's just one last thing to do. Bring the tank, record the mileage, and end this video. <laughs> 